What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am inside the house today, so this is gonna be something a little different. We're gonna be shooting indoors from about three yards back to about nine yards. That's about as far as I can get in the kitchen, living room of my house. But I know a lot of my friends, you know, they don't have access maybe to an archery range or a yard to shoot in. So you can absolutely shoot inside your house. Just verify that the target that you're shooting, like you see behind me, doesn't have a bunch of holes. You don't want it hitting the drywall or the windows or the TV, but you can absolutely shoot in your house if you do it safely and you kind of just verify that you're not gonna have blow through happen. So I'm shooting the new PSE Evo XF33 that you see behind me. It's sending a 471 grain arrow, 278 feet per second. So I feel like the feet per second on that's pretty average for most of you guys. So you can really do this with any setup, whether you're practicing for your next bow hunt, target archery or a 3D tournament that you have coming up. Definitely good to get those reps in, especially if you're working remotely, uh, like I know a lot of you guys are today. Use this at your break time. You know, take 20 minutes, 15 minutes, shoot even five minutes to get, you know, three or four shots in is better than nothing. So hope you enjoy the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments where you guys shoot. You know, maybe you guys have a funky setup and you're only able to shoot in the bedroom or, you know, in a bathroom, garage, who knows, a uh, laundry room. Let us know in the comments and we'll get the conversation started. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here we go with the first shot. I'd estimate we're probably at about three yards right here. I'll get a little closer even for this second shot. Also, remember when you're shooting at super close ranges like this, you know, three yards, under five yards, under 10 yards, you're probably gonna have to be using your 30 pin or your 40 pin to get it lined up correctly. So as you can see with my first three shots, none of them even stuck through the backside of that target. So as long as your target's not blown up with a bunch of holes already, it's gonna hold them, even when you're shooting a heavier arrow, uh, like 471 grains like mine are, at 278 feet per second. So you should be safe with your setups. All right, so now I'm putting the target up on a little food tray stand so I don't have to go at as much of an angle and I can shoot a little more straight, straight on. So we'll give these a try. So there was my third shot with it on the stand and I'm gonna show you, I should be getting hardly any pass through. That was my second set of three shots. And just that bottom one had a little bit of pass through on it. So yeah, I'm feeling totally safe shooting this target inside. So now I'll pull these arrows and I will try some shots a little farther back. I can get to about nine yards, I believe. So we'll try some from nine yards. Going back to about nine yards now. All right guys, that wraps up today's indoor practice session. I hope I proved today that you can do it no matter what type of space you guys have, whether it's a living room, a garage, a bedroom, you don't need a lot of room. A couple of yards will do as long as you can draw back your bow and you have a fresh target where the arrows aren't gonna pass through, you're good to go. So subscribe to the channel if you like the content, like the video, and be sure to let us know in the comments where you guys are practicing, especially if it's inside bedroom, garage, bathroom, who knows where you guys are able to get it done as long as you're practicing and we'll see you in the next video.